His Facebook page shows 22-year-old Curtis Russell smiling and full of life. But it all ended Wednesday afternoon as Russell and another driver, 65-year-old Jeff Stone, began passing each other as they drove on Highway 30 toward the coast. It's a tragedy, so, you know, for something like that to happen. But you don't, you don't want to see it. You don't like to hear about it. Stephanie Weldon lives near the end of Old Milltown Road in Westport, where the road rage reached its violent end. The sheriff's office said Russell passed Stone with his car one last time as they turned onto Old Milltown Road. The office said Russell stopped his car in front of Stone's truck, that Russell got out with a baseball bat and three other people. The district attorney said Russell hit Stone's truck at least once with the bat. The sheriff's office said Stone backed up his truck for a moment and then he hit the gas, plowing into Russell and dragging his body down the street. Very awful. The confrontation started in front of Dwayne Tripp's house. I can't believe that people would let it go that far. It just, it's just unbelievable. Russell died. Stone is charged with manslaughter, felony hit and run, he left the scene then later returned, and DUII. I asked Clatsop County District Attorney Josh Marquis if Stone can claim self-defense. The only justification for inflicting this much damage on this victim would have been a reasonable belief by the defendant that he was about to be killed and the only reasonable thing he could do was to drag him a thousand feet. And that sounds like a very unrealistic scenario. Back on Old Milltown Road, Susan Tripp didn't sleep much last night. She was outside for the final anguished argument between the two groups. The one guy says it started five miles back down the road and it's all your fault. And and that was the guy in the pickup. And they just kept hollering, it's your fault, it's your fault. And the other guy's hollering, you killed my brother, you killed my brother. The defendant's being held here in the Clatsop County Jail on a half million dollars bail. In Astoria, Pat Doris, KGW News.